This is, of course, from Asus, and we're talking about the new XG Mobile eGPU, which has blown our little minds. The XG Mobile eGPU is absolutely a game changer for us that love handheld gaming. The XG Mobile is more than just a way to future-proof your Ally X if you've got one or your Ally Z1 Extreme. This is how to make it on absolute steroids. This thing is spec'd out. It is going to be pricey, but it's absolutely, in our opinion, going to be totally worth it. Now, there's two variants that are going to be coming from Asus with this. We have the 5070 Ti version and the 5090 version. That's going to be some serious performance. I don't know why I had to sing it like that. <laughs> Um, beyond the actual GPU itself, the two variants that you can get, it's got more I.O. than you can shake your stick at. <laughs> it really is like the perfect breakout or dock for your Ally X and just a way to future-proof your PC handheld in general. The fact that this is Thunderbolt 5 as well shows you how future-proof it is. It will work with Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4, but obviously if you want the maximum bandwidth of, of your connection, you're going to have to go for that Thunderbolt 5. And it shows us what Asus are thinking is going to be next in their handhelds as well when we're looking at a replacement to the Ally X at some point in the future. But if you do have an Ally X now or an Ally or even any PC handheld that's going to have a Thunderbolt 4 connection, then you are able to, in a really simple, clean, elegant little footprint way, have a way of future-proofing it. We've done a lot of coverage of eGPU setups here on 128KB. Andy's gone through a whole big rigmarole, months of building this thing, and it, it was kind of a bit janky and a bit DIY, but he got together in the most elegant way possible. And all we were saying all along is, wouldn't it be great if there was an off-the-shelf external GPU that offered us the performance and the future-proofing that you could ever want without all of the kind of DIY-ness that you need, the kind of building heads you need? Because I know there's a lot of console gamers and a lot of casual gamers that have stepped into PC handhelds now for the first time, and they want that. We see it in the comments. We see it in our Discord memberships as well. People asking for that, and Asus have absolutely delivered that with this and knocked it squarely out of the park. So like I said, you've got Thunderbolt 5 on this um, with power delivery 3.1, which is up to 140 watts, mind-blowing. You've got the new Gen 5 gigabit Ethernet, which is up to 5,000 megabits per second, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A's, one UHS-2 SD card reader, which is interesting, which shows that this isn't just for gamers, that perhaps they're kind of aiming this at video creators as well. You've got one HDMI 2.1 port and a DisplayPort 2.1. 330 watts power supply built in and they've kind of done some magic with a power supply um, using different types of components basically i'm going to kind of make it a lightweight version for you which has enabled them not just to keep this cooler but to make the footprint much smaller than your typical egp that you would expect they've brought the weight down to under a kilo and its size is 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters so basically the size of a small book it's absolutely tiny I could say it supports down to USB 3 and Thunderbolt 4 and the redesigned vapor chamber for cooling has been improved so it's going to keep a lot cooler and eject air, hot air out in a much nicer way than the previous XG mobiles in the past. Um, with that Thunderbolt 5 you can have up to 120 gigabits throughput which means you can use three 4K displays at 144 hertz simultaneously. What? <laughs> I'm reading this off of Asus's press release. That just is a bit of a mind. Imagine your Asus hooked up to four, three, 4K monitors. Absolutely crazy. With, with support of up to the RTX 5090 laptop GPU, there's a maximum 24 gigabyte of GDDR R7 VRAM. Honestly, that's going to turn your Ally X or whatever Windows handheld you have into an absolute desktop beast. You're going to be able to turn your gaming handheld into the ultimate hybrid console. You're going to get desktop performance of the latest gen RTX cards with a handheld device that you can literally pop in and pop out. That's amazing. None of this kind of janky DIYness of building your own external GPU and trying to get it right and trying to get your own Thunderbolt controllers and stuff to work straight off the shelf. 
this is obviously going to be dropping later this year. There's no word exactly on cost yet, but I can imagine if you're going for the RTX 5090 version, it's going to be obviously over 2000 because the card itself is 1999. So that's going to be expensive, but it's probably going to be worth it. If you've got your handheld set up now and you want to future proof it, you want to turn it into an ultimate desktop performance powerhouse gaming machine and have years and years of enjoyment from it, then this is an amazing investment. It's so exciting to see it for us. Handheld gamers, for us, people that want that hybrid experience, you want that PC performance, but that kind of, dare I say it, Nintendo Switch um, ease of use, then Asus have just provided it. And I feel like they've absolutely won the announcements from CES so far, for the handheld gaming space at least. Wow, AJ, wasn't that an interesting news story? Yes, it was. Do you know what I fancy doing? What's that? Talking to myself in the corner of a room. No, going to watch the full news video. <laughs> it's linked above my shoulder. You should click on it, watch it, and then leave a little comment underneath telling me how much you enjoyed this week's news. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure it's going to be great. I'll see you there.